Hi, today I wanna to share with you some law of attraction traffic tips to make your drive to work or school or wherever you need to be each day easier on you. Now, first things first, I have to tell you, I used to have the worst road rage so everything I'm telling you in this video comes from a place of love because I understand how enraging it can be to be on the road. In fact, more so than the average person. One little known fact about me is that um, I live in Florida now. I moved here from Michigan when I was 22 years old. And one of the big motivating things to get me down here to Florida was that I only had one point left on my license before it was gonna get suspended because I'd been in so many accidents and had so many tickets. So I just wanna put that out there that everything I'm gonna to say today comes from love, trust me, regardless of what kind of road rage or issues or feelings that you have about traffic, I was a terrible driver, I had horrible road rage, and today things run for me very, very smoothly. So I wanna talk about what's worked for me so if you'd like to enjoy smoother traffic, happier traveling, then you can implement these things as well. Now the first thing to understand is that when it comes to traffic, it feels like it's the other people, but it's not, it's us. When we're angry, when we're pissed off and ticked off at the world and driving and in a state of road rage, everything that comes at us all the people that are stopping in front of us all the people that are weaving around us all the people that are honking at us and driving poorly around us are simply a mirror back to us about our inner state so whenever we find ourselves on the road and there's people cutting us off or being very rude or driving improperly we have to understand it isn't about them it's about us, it's whatever we're projecting because the law of attraction will always match what you're putting out there. So if you're out there expressing frustration with other drivers, then bad drivers are gonna come to meet you. If you're expressing frustration with the slowness of traffic, then traffic is gonna slow down to meet that expectation. So that's the first thing to understand. So my biggest tip to anybody who's out there is to just become aware of this. When you are your most frustrated is when the traffic just gets worse and worse and worse. And when you're in a good mood and just smiling and enjoying the drive, everything seems to move very smoothly for you. So just becoming aware of that dynamic can make it a lot easier for you to notice that, uh-oh, things are getting a little crazy, things are getting a little hairy. I need to change my internal state so that I can get back into smooth traffic. So that's the first thing. Please notice that when you're happy, things go very well on the road. And when you're frustrated, they go the opposite way. Now, in addition to that, here are some other things that you can do that can help when it comes to traffic. One of the things that I like to do is while I'm on the road, I try to look at the other drivers, look at the other cars for things that I like. So like, oh, I like his bumper sticker, that's funny, that's a pretty co color for that car. Oh, he just let that guy in, that was really nice of him. Oh, she just got out of my way, that was very nice of her. I try to be very deliberate about looking for good behavior in other drivers and also being very thankful when another driver allows me in or allows me out. So becoming more cognizant of the good in other drivers can really align you with a lot more good drivers. So just become more aware of that. Now, when it comes to bad drivers, if someone cuts you off or if someone's going really slow in front of you or if somebody's honking your horn, their horn at you, it's very natural to get frustrated and then we don't feel so loving, right? But in that moment, it can be very helpful to just make an excuse for the other driver. So if I'm in front of somebody and they're honking at me and they look really ticked off, Instead of immediately reacting with anger or negativity, I'll try to come up with an excuse for their behavior. Like, well, maybe that guy's having a bad day, or maybe he's going through a divorce, or maybe he's late to his job and he's afraid he's gonna get fired. Like, I'll try to come up with an excuse for that person's behavior that puts me into, in, into alignment with empathy and love for the other person rather than hatred. So that's another tip that you can use as well. Um, and now finally, when it comes to driving and you know trying to keep yourself centered, if you find yourself getting a little frustrated, it can be very helpful to be mindful of what you're listening to on the radio. So if you find yourself in a traffic jam or if you're stressed out and things are starting to get a little bit hairy on the road, 
Turning on a station with soothing music can be very helpful. And also another thing I like to try is the comedy station. So if you have XM radio or if you listen to Pandora through your through your car, you can always tune to a comedy station to keep things light, to keep your mood elevated. Because again, your mood when it comes to traffic is everything. So those are a few of my favorite law of attraction traffic tips. I hope they work for you just as well as they've worked for me.